Welcome to the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Michigan Technological University. My name is Kristen Stevens and I will be one of your guides for an exciting look into the opportunity available to you here at Michigan Tech. Originating as Michigan Mining School in 1885, later became Michigan College of Mines. It eventually turned into what we know and love today, Michigan Technological University in 1964. Now, Alexis Trashinets will give you an overview of the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. The Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Michigan Tech awarded its first civil engineering degrees in 1931. The department has grown over the years and now includes 51 professional staff and faculty, over 70 full-time graduate students, and more than 500 undergraduate students. Research funding exceeds $4.5 million per year. U.S. News & World Report has ranked our environmental engineering program as one of the nation's top programs in number of degrees awarded. Similarly, recent graduation figures show that our department ranks in the top 10 in civil engineering nationally. Now that you know a little bit about the history of the department, let's take a look at what civil and environmental engineers actually do. Civil engineers plan, design, build, and manage the facilities that are essential to our civilization. These include bridges, dams, highways, transit systems, airports, tunnels, irrigation systems, water distribution and wastewater treatment facilities, and finally, industrial and commercial buildings. Environmental engineers have the broad responsibility of environmental protection and human welfare. An environmental engineer may work in consulting to clean up contaminated soils, government to create vital environmental policies, industry to report and control emissions, research to design innovative environmental solutions, or a nonprofit organization to develop a sustainable community. Now that we have established the background of the program, let's take a closer look at where the Civil and Environmental Engineering program at Michigan Tech really excels. Sometimes parents ask me why their son or daughter should come to Michigan Tech to study to be a civil and environmental engineer. And I think it's, it's, it's kind of simple, and that is, is that our doors are open here. When you walk around these halls on an afternoon, you will see faculty doors open from one side of the hall down to the other end of the hall. Here at Michigan Tech, the majority of the professors that you're going to deal with have an open door policy. If they're in their office, you're more than welcome to stop by and talk to them. So you go up there, even if they're doing something, they have no problem. You know, okay, I got five minutes, you know, I'll explain this to you. A lot of times you just walk into the, an office and you can find them, or even if you find them outside of campus and you have a question, they're willing to stop and talk to you. Which comes in handy, either just to ask questions or just to discuss a certain topic that you're interested. And that's something that um, they feel they may not have been able to get at some other large uh, engineering programs. Uh, the faculty, first of all, are, are just amazing. It is our professors bond with the undergraduate and graduate students? Oh, phenomenal. They're wonderful. We're very lucky in civil environmental engineering because the faculty are approachable. Uh, they're very personable, um, down-to-earth people. You're not a number. You're a student with a name and they want to help you. Students and faculty in the undergraduate program work one-on-one. -on -one allows you to really get one-on-one -on -one contact with your professor and meet your professor face-to-face. -face. Uh, people recognize you when you walk around the halls and the offices of the faculty. You know, they'll, they'll say, hi Chris, how are you doing? And they're always willing to help. Um, they're always genuine and you can go to them for anything. At Michigan Tech, we're available for you. Along with an abundance of faculty interaction and solid teaching, students will experience a number of cutting-edge laboratories unique to our department. These include laboratories for physical chemical treatment processes, timber engineering, the study of human impacts on the global atmosphere, and asphaltic pavements. We also have our own research vessel, the Agassiz. Student learning comes in the form of practical hands-on experience in the laboratory and the field. The emphasis on solving today's real-world problems prepares students to solve the challenges of tomorrow. Very hands-on work outside of the classroom. We also not only teach the theory and fundamentals, we also teach the practical aspect of environmental engineering. We can go out and measure stream flow um, and talk about water supplies and water availability. You not just learn about the material in the lecture, but also witness the material in real life. <laughs> Thank you.
things that you would normally learn in class, you actually learn down in the labs, and you get to do things that reinforce the way you're learning and what you're learning. The professor takes all of the students down to the Houghton Wastewater Treatment Plant and they get to see it firsthand, see how it operates. because you could actually see what it was we've been learning about and talking about and designing. Primary treatment is always settling. Secondary treatment is always biology. A couple of weeks ago, we put 160 students on the water in one week. I'm um, taking out the university boat out for our environmental engineering class and actually be able to run tests out on the portage. It's important for students to get hands-on experience in the things they're learning about. Within our department, there are also many unique programs that offer unparalleled opportunity to go above and beyond a traditional education. The Senior Design Program ranges from international projects in Bolivia and the Dominican Republic to national tasks at the Work Environment Design Contest. For tech students, it isn't just about making money or succeeding personally, it's about making a difference. The International Senior Design is an alternative to the Senior Design class that all civil and environmental engineers have to take where you will go down to Santa Cruz, Bolivia or Dominican Republic and engineer a system or a design for the locals. The feeling of helping someone else that doesn't have the money or doesn't have the knowledge to do it themselves is just something that touches close to home. And An ethical responsibility, that's, that's pretty good, especially as a civil engineer because of, of what we do. The people actually really need these, these, um, these projects that, that we're going to do because you always get both sides of every kind of situation. They always try to teach you a holistic view instead of just, um, you know, one-sided views. They know that, that when we're there, um, that we're there to do something good. You want to be honest about what you're doing, and that's, that's a big deal. I think my education here at Michigan Tech is definitely preparing me to go out with the workforce and start into my job immediately. There's no way that I'm not going back. There's no way this bridge isn't getting funded. <laughs> the money will come from somewhere. It's, it's something that just uh, clings real close to your heart. It's something that means the world to me. And we want to manage the effects that our industrial society has on the environment. So by its nature, what I do makes a difference. It changes your motivation because you're there. You're where it's going to happen, and you know what's going to happen and the only people that are going to make it happen are you and your teammates. So it's really these hands-on projects that you know are going to make a difference. I feel that I will make a difference, whether it's big or small, some way in this world I am making a difference. I feel I can make a difference in the construction industry if I go out today and get a job, so I mean Michigan Tech really prepares you for uh, the world today. You know, things that are going to affect other people, and you know, like our international senior design, we got to go out and actually build an aqueduct for this community that was too poor and didn't have the resources or knowledge base to do it themselves. So we actually got to go out there and 
you know, do this, do something for other people. So. And, and the question is, are you going to do it? Are you going to step up to that challenge? And I say, take it up, accept it. All admitted students are automatically considered for the merit-based scholarships for which they are eligible. Additional department scholarships are available in student interest areas, some of which include funds through the Pavement Scholars Program, Michigan Water Environment Association, and other related professional organizations. Michigan Tech students are encouraged to take internships and cooperative education, or co-op, positions to enhance their education through real-world experience. An internship position is typically only for the summer months, while a co-op position includes working in combined summer and semester. Both are paid positions, however, a student usually receives some academic credit for a co-op position. Students are afforded nationwide opportunities when companies visit Michigan Tech's two annual career fairs. The department has active support from industry through the Civil and Environmental Professional Advisory Committee. This advisory board keeps Michigan Tech at the forefront of the challenges that professionals are faced with in the real world. The bottom line is that Michigan Tech teaches the fundamentals while keeping up to date with today's challenges and future trends. At Michigan Tech, faculty and students are not only aware of the current issues, but also actively contribute to solving them. It's got a good reputation for putting out solid engineers. I think are really well equipped to jump into the working world and, and be very productive in their jobs. I think that's one of the, the key strengths. No matter where you go, the quality of the education of a Michigan Tech grad is known. Our Michigan Tech engineers are learning how to get things done and that's what we as employers are looking for in graduates. And it's, uh, it's been an outstanding program for many, many decades in doing exactly that. It is clear that the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Michigan Tech provides an outstanding education. However, there's more to life at Michigan Tech than the classroom. In the Keweenaw Peninsula, students enjoy a range of activities from hiking and hunting to biking and fishing. Every season provides opportunity for fun and enjoyment. Winter is filled with skiing, hockey, and Michigan Tech's famous Winter Carnival. Sporting events, clubs, and the student body in general enable students to become part of a thriving social community. If it's knowledge, opportunity, adventure, and experience you seek, create your future at Michigan Technological University. Your ultimate college experience lies tucked away in the heart of the Keweenaw Peninsula. Come visit and experience Michigan Tech for all its possibilities.